Hello everyone and welcome to Experiment 3 in Universe Sandbox 2. In the second part of my September 30th livestream, I let viewers select the next experiment from a number of choices in a poll, and they chose Crashing Series into Mars. Well, so here we go. Crashing Series into Mars, alright. Now, do we want to do it organically? In other words, bring Series' orbit in or just throw it at it? I mean, let's see. Yeah, it might take too long to uh, do it otherwise. So, you just want me to hurl a series sized object at Mars. Oh, it doesn't have uh, minor? Oh, there we go. Open up the Mars simulation instead for. Okay. Planets, Mars, and moons. Okay. So here if I enable climate, it'll, it'll enable climate, right? Okay, that's on. Now we don't have lag when I enable it too. Go to power and then launch. I don't know, do we want to do that it that way? So do we want to actually put it in... I, I want to determine its trajectory. So... We gotta add series. Whoa. What? Oh. You just look really big there. What the heck? What is up with series? Oh, it's because I keep adding them. Sheesh. Let's have a lot of series. No, um. Hmm. It's going 10 kilometers a second. Is this its... Uh, am I seeing its motion? Where is its motion? Is this, that's that trajectory, right? It's tough to figure out where exactly it is. Oh, this it is above the plane of the planet. Um, okay, so that's in the plane of the planet. Oh, this is just weird to try and look at. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, okay, that makes it better. Thank you, Code Fantastic. Looks like our best bet is striking Mars from at the pole. Oops, not what I wanted to do. Are we agreed that this is what we want to do? Or do you want to change the parameters somehow? Ten kilometers per second? Shall we save this? Hold on, let, let me save this. I think that's a good idea. And then we can try different things if necessary, or if you want to. good yeah I don't think I could have uh, you mean swing it in change its orbit and bring it in but I don't know I think this is okay I'd have to do some calculations eventually uh, to do that I'd have to take some time now I don't know we, we should probably go a little bit slower 10 kilometers a second that seems pretty darn fast um, let's say, let's start out at uh, one hour per second, actually. Yeah. <gasps> oh, 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 no, no. Okay, hold on, that's too fast. Okay, little bits have flung out. Yep, yep. 
No, 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 yeah, altering Ceres' orbit. Uh, basically, putting Ceres on a transfer orbit to Mars. Which would require calculating what the heck the transfer orbit to Mars for Ceres would be. And getting the phase angle right, you know, the whole nine yards. They get proper names, too? Fragment. <laughs> Their name is Fragment. Not a ton of calculations. Yeah, you guys ha would have to wait a little while. Those are calculations I can do, but it would take me some time. Mars's climate. Um, 388 degrees Celsius. Very convincing. Habitable? No. No, it is not. I think uh, we can speed things up now, maybe. Some of these fragments have to smash in. Yeah, surface pressure is very low. Now it's back down to negative 121. So that didn't last long. Except for the impact zones, not much has changed. Yeah, it's Celsius, not Kelvin. Here, Kelvin. 151 right now. Um, these fragments... Okay, there's one coming in. Just struck it. No biggie. It just made a few more craters. I think it probably released some stuff that we probably lost a bit of uh, material. But mostly the composition is going to be the same. Doesn't even have a one degree greenhouse effect. Yeah, we basically. Uh, and we've basically gotten back down to a very moderate surface temperature now. Uh, stuff has cooled off. We're at, uh, well, okay, sometimes it's 61.8 and sometimes it's negative 11. No, this isn't impressive enough. I think I've got a better idea. I wanted to go faster. I wanted to have a lot of kinetic energy. Oh, what? How does the planetary mass compare to previous? Oh, good question. Um, well, let, let's try it with some more kinetic energy. Let's do 100 kilometers per second. I mean, Ceres' mass is not much compared to Mars. 9.47 times 10 to the 20th. Mars in terms of kilograms uh, 10 to the 23rd so you're talking about a thousand times the mass of series okay but let's go 10 meters per second and see how it goes with the extra stuff yeah I've got it slowed down let's see what happens okay well that was slow enough hopefully oh uh, come on no show me that Climate is now 4,727. Oh, uh, that has... Uh, I, hold on, I didn't enable climate. Let's go 5 minutes per second. Uh, Mars... Enable climate. Okay, and motion 100 again. I'll focus on Mars this time. Let's go. It just goes to 4,727 pretty darn quickly. Fragments have all got... They, they, they've all escaped now. 
They all on escape. Mass 8.74 moons. I don't remember what that is. In com uh, does it have a Mars option? Uh, well, oh no, we did see the mass in kilograms before. It's basically the same. Phobos? No, Phobos is cool. Actually, it's pretty close to absolute zero. Mars is now moving. Yeah, it has uh, velocity. RPM? Hmm. Increase the rotation of Ceres? Well, we can try that. Yeah, it looks like we've got a helix, so yeah, Mars is moving. New tilt? Uh, I don't know what it is showing me, really. Green and blue, is that original and new? I don't know. Yeah, edit. Mars. So, does it have the magnetic field info here somewhere? There it is. Magnetic field, zero gauss. Isn't that impossible? Before impact, the two were the same? How can you even tell what the magnetic field is if it says it's zero? Oh, show me. Yeah, it showed magnetic axis off. But we clearly see it anyway. Climate does not seem to be going down. Let's tune up the time frame here. Climate is off? Ah! I, I thought I turned it on. Oh, forget it. Okay. Hold on. Let's go to a thousand. Or, shall we try a hundred again? I think I want to see what happens with thousand. Okay, I, I swear I turned it on, but okay, it's it's no that's position lock. Psh. Climb it on. Magnetic axis on. Magnetosphere on. All the things are on. Yeah, it's ludicrous speed. Let's see if it splits. Oh, uh, we wanted a uh, rotational speed too. Let's uh, go uh, order magnitude up there. One second per second. Okay, here we go. No, I want to focus on Mars. Come on. Wow, that got this thing spinning. No, no, we need to keep it uh, consistent. I'm not, I'm not changing the mass of series. We're not, add, we're not using a different mass. That thing has a rotational velocity much faster than, than once every second. <laughs> Mass hasn't changed much. Um, guys. Um, guys. The rotational period is point zero 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 three nine three. But it says rotational speed is is 1.759 billion light speed.
I think this done glitched. <laughs> yeah. Uh, trying Mars into Mars would be effectively changing the mass of series. That's all I was saying. Don't question it. Move on. No. Now we need to find out what the borderline of this glitch is. Now it didn't glitch last time, but maybe that was because we didn't have rotation. Let's add rotation to it on the previous one. With a hundred. So, again, uh, magnetosphere, magnetic axis, climate. Okay. Series, 100. And we're going to add a zero to the rotational speed. Okay? Let's see if this causes the glitch. And we're going to go one second per second. Real time. Well, tilt is changing. It just goes to 4,727 there. I don't see the rotation going up. No, the rotation didn't change at all. Climate? What do you mean climate is off? Why? Okay, I don't care about that. Rotation is what I cared about. Rotation didn't change at all. I thought I activated everything. I activated magnetosphere. How, why didn't I activate the climate? Bad oversight. Well, no, I turned the climate on before and it still went to this temperature. Okay, we can speed things up now. Now well, we can have climate on now. Nope. It, it's forcefully turning it off. Hold on. Pause. On. No. Even when paused, it forces it off. Oh, maybe it's because I'm in edit. Hold on. No. Nice hypothesis. Wrong answer. Yeah, I don't know either. No clue. Seems like this didn't too, do too badly. Well, no, it's spreading. So, I don't know. Let's try the faster one without spin. Let's see if it's still gets it glitchy. I'm just curious, really. Okay, witness. Climate. Enable climate, right? Magnetosphere, magnetic axis. Climate is still on. Okay, velocity I don't change here. I do change here. I'm gonna go to 1000 kilometers per second. Which is still not light speed, by the way. We're not it's not glitching because of that. And I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna set this to one second, uh, yeah, one second per second again, because it's the faster one. Parent star, then see if climate, with the, with a parent star, and then see if climate works. Yeah, one second per second. Here we go. 
no change to its rotation this time, the rotation of series. It does have a rotation. Well, not everybody knows light speed by by rote. Oh, it did it, it did it. The climate went off. The climate went off all on its own. 4727. And we are now at uh, 1 to the 10 to the 27th light speed. Oh, the axis. You want me to check the axis. Okay. Well, it's like this. It's got, uh, it's got, it's got a procession of some kind. Let me, let me see what happens after a substantial amount of time. One hour, we're going to go to VUK. It's still spinning like, well, not even a pulsar or something would spin like this. Phobos has gone like this. Phobos. Okay, it's got some serious motion to it now. Okay, one more thing. I'm gonna cut out Phobos's, I mean, Ceres's uh, rotation. So, um, yeah, still magnetosphere, magnetic axis, climate. The climate thing irritates me because it turned it off on, on its own. That wasn't my fault. I didn't forget it. It's just bad. Okay. Let's try 1000 again first, and then we'll tone it down to see where the problem is. Rotational speed is zero. Okay. And one second per second. Oh, no, it glitched it again. Yep. Okay, let's slow series down and see exactly where it starts getting glitchy. This time I won't, I won't enable climate and I won't enable the magnetosphere. 500 and zero out rotational speed okay went glitch it wasn't the climate simulation or the magnetosphere simulation causing anything purely purely the speed at which series is coming in let's tone it down even more So I, I really don't need to do anything at this end. It's all about the uh, velocity of series. Let's try 250. No, I did not change series' material composition. It is still 100% silicate. We haven't uh, touched series' mass or composition. Um, well, it's, it's less light speed. It's only 2 million times light speed now. Hmm. Doesn't show any inaccuracy here. But 100 worked, right? I mean, 100 was fine. Let me just double check that 100 is still fine. If I don't have any rotational speed. Okay, so that's normal. I just want to double check it wasn't my computer causing problems. As long as that's consistent. Okay, and rotational period did, it has increased. Rotational period of Mars is now, now just a half hour. So it's increased by 48 times.
Okay, so let us change. Zero that out again. Let's say 150. You gotta go to 150 first, Arthur. Okay, and one second per second. Ah, uh, no, no, one. Uh, 20 will do. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. <laughs> What's the magic number? 154? Nope, not 154. Mars has clearly not been tested by the same agency. Okay, um... No, 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 this is still okay. No, this is still okay. It's going very fast, and it looks ridiculous with the explosion on one side, but uh, it's got a period of 2.47 seconds. Okay, we'll take that. Maybe it's when it hits light speed. This is 8,385 kilometers per second. Maybe just when it hits light speed it goes, well, any light speed will do. Let's try 200 then. Okay, less than a second. Still good though. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's now uh, less than a tenth of the speed of light, but it's close. Let's go 225, split the difference. We know 250 does the, has the problem. Okay. Wait a second. It's going really slow now. It's only one every 10 minutes. This is very Kerbal of it. That's inconsistent. Or did we did I make a mistake in not zeroing out the thing? Let's see. Let's try that again. I think I might not have zeroed out the rotation of series. Okay, this time well we got 1.35 seconds. Still not as much as I thought. Let's try 240. It always goes away. I don't like that. It's like it's hiding the fact that it's messing up. And I didn't even bother to change the rotational period this time. I mean, it did, but uh, not as much. I mean, it's like a uh, twelfth. Or, uh, no, no, less than a tenth. Less than a tenth. Okay, I don't think we're gonna get yeah, I don't think we're gonna get to the the right number here But I think uh, we've we've discovered something about the simulation Okay, let's just let this run Let's let's go for a long period of time mm, Days first uh, let's have it uh, position lock, but we don't have climate on. Well, what's eventually going to happen here? We haven't really done a long term. Okay, it's not making me happy. Looks like it can't keep up like that. I don't know. I don't think it's going to cool down anytime soon. No, I don't have enabled climate on. So basically, the upshot is, in this simulation, either Mars becomes this white hot or yellow hot spinning ball of stuff, or, 
or it just has little extra craters going on. Either way, it, actually the rotational period is the more impressive change. I don't know how long it's got to stay like this. I'll deal with the spider webs. Is it gonna cool down at all? Let's go orbits. Okay, well that's interesting. Nah, I can't keep up. Okay. Turn on climate? Let's see. Nope, it doesn't want to turn on. How many, uh, many if I turn off albedo feedback? Nope. Nope, it doesn't want to. That's sad. Might take millions of years to cool down. Yeah, and I can't simulate faster than 0.1 years per second. Okay. Well, alright. So we've done two experiments. I think I'll call it here. Yeah, the orbits are very perturbed. I, I hold on. Let, let's see. Let's see if the orbits are that perturbed without this all this happening. They, they are stable, right? Or is there something I don't? know? Well, I mean, over the course of one year, it shouldn't be a. There shouldn't be that much variation. Let me just double check, though. You never know. It's had problems before the simulation. Okay, and I want to view orbits. Yeah, they, they do have a little bit of wiggle to them. But not that much. Phobos is in a decaying orbit? Yeah, but not on this time scale. But this shows it wiggling around even in the, during the course of a year. But, yep. Anyway, so uh, thank you for watching. And we're just going to do Star Trek Online on Friday. Saturday will be the stock Kerbal system with the continuing adventures to rescue the Kerbals from the Lathe and uh, the Jewel 5 mission, and then Sunday will be Realism Overhaul. Alright, so see you everybody.